Los Vima. Charles here on April 4th. April 4th is a big day here in Serbia because the results came in. And Tomislav Nikolic is no longer president of Serbia. We have a new one here. The new president of Serbia, as you probably know by now, is former Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic. Aleksandar Vucic is the leader of Srpska Napredna Stranka, which means Serbian Forward Party, right? And that was a I don't know if you can translate it that way, but anyway, it's And this guy just won the election. You can see the headlines here. 55%. How it works here in Serbia, the presidential election is a five-year term, a little bit differently from the United States, uh, but it's a five-year term. So Vucic won 55% of the vote. There's, they can do things in two rounds. If the, first, if the winning candidate on the first election doesn't exceed 50% of the vote, then they have to do a second round of elections, which is in about another month, with the leading competitor, because they have so many uh, political parties here in Serbia. But Aleksandr Vucic, everywhere you go in this country, the man dominated the media. Facebook for me. I've got 23,000 followers, 5,000 friends. So I think a lot of the people you follow, that depends on the ads that come up and, and stuff you click on. Ugh, I've seen so many Aleksandr Vucic commercials on Facebook. I've seen so many Aleksandr Vucic commercials on YouTube. I've seen so many posters of Aleksandr Vucic all over telephone poles, trees all over. I saw so many posts, uh, so many massive billboards of Aleksandr Vucic because I travel this country all the time. Me and my friends just got back from Sarajevo. Once you hit Loznica, Vucic, 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 everywhere. I'd hate to see how much money was spent on billboards throughout this country. Uh, but it was a bunch. Two massive wall-size murals of, of Aleksandr Vucic are here in Novi Sad, right in the heart of the city, over these two big buildings. They're massively huge. Uh, television commercials, radio commercials, newspapers. The other day he was on the cover of every single newspaper. Allo, 24 Sata, Blitz, Kerr. He dominated it. This man is an intelligent man. He used to be, many, a while back, he, he's really changed his views, Mr. Vucic. He used to be a Serbian radical. Uh, he was the information minister, I believe, is what it is, is the term they call it, the minister of information under Slobodan Milosevic, uh, the former president of Yugoslavia. Um, so, and then he was closely aligned with uh, he was he was Shesho, and that, and but then totally changed his views, and he he made a statement about that because people ask him, you know. There's lots of headlines. Here recently they had a lot of headlines all over the world about this election uh, because of another guy we're going to talk about here in just a moment, Belly. He received third place. He received 9.4% of the vote, well ahead of Yeremich, Vuk Yeremich, and Sheshel. <laughs> so, and Radulovic, I was so disappointed, he only received 1% of the vote. Sasha Yankovic, I hadn't heard much about him. He's an old bootsman. He finished second. Um, but what was my point? What was I going to tell you anyway? Um, yeah, they asked Mr. Vucic. He was all over the, the world media here recently, and they talked about how he was maybe becoming a dictatorship. I mean, some of the some of the Western some of the media outlets uh, had mentioned that, but he even made a statement. One of them asked him. They said, "How is it you can change uh, your stances?" And he said, "Well, he if you he said there's a saying in Serbia something about if you don't change your ways, you're a donkey. It's something similar. To, I forget exactly what it was. That doesn't make sense, does it? In English, um, just like." Uh, uh, never mind. But uh, anyway, he said he has changed his views on many, many things. Uh, he's pro-European Union integration. Uh, so we'll see how things go here in the next five years. I am friends with tons of Serbians, as I told you, from all over the place. Diaspora, the diaspora was mainly against this gentleman, more so than the folks here, obviously. But um, here, the people I know, the majority of people I'm close with did not vote for him. They voted for Sasha Radulovic, they voted for uh, Jankovic, 
and Yeremich. I have a lot of friends that voted for Yeremich, and some that voted for Sheshel, but not very many. Uh, but, and then a lot of them that didn't vote, and a big percentage of voted for Belly, just because they're tired of all of this crap, uh, and tired of being lied to, and being misled, etc. But the people that I know, I know a lot of people that did vote for Vucic too. Some of my friends' family, I'm not going to name any names. But when I asked them why, they said that things, they thought things were headed in the right direction and they didn't want to vote for somebody else because maybe they'd have to start over. That's just what I've heard. Uh, so I'm not political here. I can't vote in this country. I want what's best for you people. And I don't know if uh, this is the right way or another way is the right way. I don't know. But you guys spoke. You spoke loudly. You spoke clearly. You elected this man 55% of the vote. 55 to 16%. Belly, third place. This gentleman was all over BBC. He was in the Milwaukee newspaper. He was in the St. Paul Tribune in St. Paul, Minnesota. He gave a really good interview on a couple different outlets. But this guy's from Vladinovats. He made fun of um, political process. He wears a white suit and his fur coat. And he, he, he said, uh, he's honest, he lies to people and they know it. They know he, at least he's lying. But he made 10% of the vote. I thought that was insane. Double Vukjanovic. <laughs> so anyway, that's the news here in Serbia. Let me tell you the other standings. It was Vucic 55, Sasha Jankovic second at 16%, Luka, Max, Luka Maksimovic or Belly at 9.4%, Vukjanovic at 5.7%, Sheshel 4.4%, Boško Obradovic, I was surprised about him, he's the leader of Dveri, and he finished with 2.2%, I see him a lot of places, but a lot, he's right wing, and obviously, it's many parts of Europe, the right wing is rising, here it, it, it looks like it's just bottoming out, you know. Uh, which is surprising because the people you see, uh, Sasha, Sasha Radulovic, head of uh, Dos, Dostoye Bilo, he finished with 1.4%. That was very, very sad, I think. I like that guy. Uh, and then Chanak, 1.1%, etc. Uh, but anyway, Bosco Obradovic, I was really surprised. You know, he, he only finished with 2%. He had a lot of following here, I thought. And Vojislav Sheshel, it always seems like people on the internet talk about, oh, I love Sheshel every single... If you did an online poll with people who watch YouTube, who people who watch my videos, and people who comment on things, it's almost always Sheshel. Everybody says, oh, Sheshel, but then nobody votes for him. So it must just be a... I don't know. Anyway, my friends, I'm not going to get too political because I know how that goes. Everybody's going to hate me if I even say anything, so it doesn't matter. That's the life of Charles Cather. But I am, he's my president now, as he is your president. Uh, so those of you who do not like this uh, result of the election, I feel your pain. Because I have a president in my country that I absolutely despise, and I know that feeling. When you wake up, you turn on the TV, or sorry, it happened before I went to bed. Before I go to bed, I turn on the TV, I turn on the internet to see who won, and it was Donald Trump. I know that feeling. I don't like Hillary Clinton either, so don't dislike my video. I don't like either of them. I didn't vote for either of them. I voted for the Green Party. But I know that feeling that you get when your guy loses the person you wanted to win. It's a sinking feeling, my friends. So hopefully he'll do what's good for Serbia. We'll see, but we got him for five more years. Svima, do Virginia.